What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks for tuning in to the Gaming Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have ReFood for the PlayStation Vita. Now this is an amazing plugin. Also we have the keys.bin. Now you can do this manually, but thanks to the auto plugin from the Hero GAC, this will be done automatically. So we go to the website games and consoles this is one of the great websites where you can follow i'll go ahead and leave that link in the description you guys can see i don't know if that's a whopper big mac whatever it is it is big for the playstation vita now the auto plugin 3.67 from the hero gac now thanks to jifan lu davy awakening the ps vita scene once more the release of the keys have brought good results for the faps team Composed by Celeste Blue, Dots, Princess of Sleeping, Julius Surrieras, the Radisu. Now they took the ball and started running with it. And they came up with a plugin called Food. And along came the version of 3.67 of the auto plugin, which now integrates the food. Now this allows you to run games that require higher former, such as titles 3.69, 3.68, 6.7 on firmwares 3.60 and 3.65 so there is no really need to update if you have Enzo I would stay there on 3.60 or 3.65 depending on your preference this will also work with repatch when you want to load the repatch information you will hold the L trigger on the PlayStation Vita once you launch the game so you can use repatch or refood now the article has some steps so that you can install it manually but what i'm just going to do is go to the hero gac github and get that auto plugin vpk okay so you guys can see that i got the auto plugin vpk now there's the media fire link if you want the keys and if you want to do it manually also note loading the repatch module will have priority over free food if a module is in the repatch folder, it will be loaded first and Refood will not attempt to decrypt it, which is awesome. So big shout out to Team Molecule, Silica, and everybody, all the developers that worked on this. Thank you for giving us food for the PlayStation Vita. This is amazing. So now I have the auto plugin ready and then I will connect my PlayStation Vita to the PC. Remember that you will need to have Henkaku and or Hankor installed so that you can make this work. So I'm going to copy the auto plugin VPK to the root of the PlayStation Vita. Okay, that's all we need. So I'm gonna close the folder and I am going to move on to the PlayStation Vita. Okay, so now within the PlayStation Vita, I'm going to open Vita Shell and launch it. Okay, within Vita Shell, I am going to look for the auto plugin VPK and I'm going to install it. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. So once that has been installed, we move on to the live area. You guys can see our newest auto plugin. But before that, I am going to show you the system firmware of this PlayStation Vita. So I'm going to go to settings, system system information and you guys can see that this PlayStation Vita is on 3.60 just wanted to let you guys know so now I am going to run the auto plugin from the hero GAC I'm going to go to install plugins now remember to install non PDRM first non PDRM and also no PSM DRM just in case and then we're going to look for the refood plugin so there you have it refood by dots version 1.0 simple installation just click or select then we're gonna press start and the PlayStation Vita will reboot so we just give it a moment okay so now this is where package J comes in handy so you guys can see this game is 3.69 and I have 3.60. Package J tells me that it's not playable on my former version. Now this one on 3.68. So I'm installing. I'm not doing anything else. I am just installing the game. And then the previous one I had that was for 3.67. So you guys will see three games. So now we're going to launch 
Emerald Shores. So now at this point, we should have gotten an error if it did not work, which is awesome that we didn't get anything. Now we can play these higher former games on the lower 3.60, 3.65, which is amazing. You guys can see it's working. Okay, so now we're going to do League of Evil. This one was for 3.67. You guys can see there's no errors now if you happen to get an error if you launch this one and let's say you're launching another game and then you get an error then just restart the PlayStation Vita reboot it and then the game should work so there you have it guys this game is working on 3.60 remember if you get the error then just reboot the PlayStation Vita and then everything will be fine now the revenge of the bird king this is the last game so there you have it guys three out of three the games are working perfectly this is awesome history in the making with these developers to just keep pushing forward with the PlayStation Vita thank you guys thank you for your hard work this is great I am super excited I rarely get to play games but you guys enjoy it follow this tutorial get the auto plugin it'll put the keys in the right place it'll install the plugin necessary to run higher firmware games thank you to hero GAC and all the developers so if this helped remember to hit like subscribe comment share with your friends as always gamer rebirth out <laughs>